Hey guys, welcome back. Episode three of our fuel injection installation series. If you missed episode one, go there, check it out. I explain why we're converting to fuel injection and why I picked Phytech. Last episode, we left off with, what is that thing and what's it for? This is actually a really neat, simple solution to add a return line nipple to your gas tank and or add a vent. So our tanks need a supply line, duh, a return line and vented. You don't want any added pressure building up in your tank and causing all kinds of other problems. So I'm going to go through the installation procedure today to, so you'll know exactly what to do. And if you haven't subscribed yet, do so. Hit subscribe, hit the bell, make sure you're notified of all future releases, and we'll go from there. Right, hey guys, so just checking my, my drill fits. I have a 90 degree drill with that step bit, and it does right here. So on both sides of the differential, I have the same spacing, but before you drill into your tank, even if it's off the car, make sure there's no vapor in it. Maybe even fill it with water or some sort of inert gas because when you go to drill it will throw hot metal in there and if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time kaboom let alone your life being lost let's worry about the damage done to your car <laughs> so pull it if you can but if you if you don't want to you have to take extreme measure to be safe since i already have vented fuel tank and a return line i went ahead and set up this piece of sheet metal to mimic drilling through our tank and if you can visualize this this is the inside of the tank your tank is already in the car you got your 90 degree drill i put this paper towel down to see if any debris or how much debris might come out when we're drilling so i'm going to go ahead and drill from the other side and we're going to see what happens so here we go, I'm gonna try and drill like right here. All right, well that made a mess, didn't it? Well, I guess that, that, I guess that's what fuel filters are for. <laughs> so that's really interesting. Um, Next step is to deburr this hole as much as you can. And obviously a burr on the inside is really difficult. Um, you can try and get a smaller drill bit in there or maybe in a file. So here's a round file I found. Notice there's a, still a burr there, but you don't know. You can't feel it, so let's assume we can't feel it. Next step, if this was my tank, and it's still in the car. So the tank's still in the car. I'm going to use my magnetic part picker upper. Let's see how much of the stuff we can get. Yeah, not bad, not bad. So, if you're if you have the guts for it, you can go fishing for all those parts. This can go pretty far, obviously. So give it a few swirls and then carefully take it out. Yeah, those are fixed on there. And that's what we got. So in all honesty, if this was my tank, I would be comfortable with that because we're going to have multiple amount of filters before it gets to the pump. If anyone else has a better idea, leave a comment below so other people can learn from it. Otherwise, take your tank out, drain it, and have fun with that. <laughs> Alright, next step here. There's our assembly. This is how it gets shipped. You just take this off. Set it aside, it's our last step. Uh, take this apart, leave the gasket on the aluminum piece. And notice on the aluminum piece, there's a shoulder. Make sure that gasket sits around the shoulder. 
and you'll know when you put it in. So you put it in the hole, you can kind of play with it to get it flush. So it's nice and flush. And now we, we put the bolt and washer that we took off the back end in here. So it's going to act like a compression fitting. We're going to get a one inch wrench for this outer. And this looks like a 9 16th. Let's see. Okay, one inch. Yep, got one inch there. And a 9 16th. So what we're going to do is hold the outer with the one inch. And we're going to start tightening the 9 16th. It's going to be a little bit difficult. So let me show you what happens on the back side while I tighten it. All right, here we go. I'll probably have to fast forward this, but this should be fun. All right, that was pretty interesting. There's the other side. And what I learned, which you guys missed, is this is not long enough. I actually switched to a half inch drive socket wrench because the leverage is pretty tremendous. You might need a partner to hold the one inch wrench while you turn this. So just so you're aware, but this is really solid. I can't move it. Looks awesome. So now that we're here, again, hold the one inch wrench and take this 9 16th bolt out, which is in there. We are gonna put in our AN fitting in. Now, if you may have noticed, this end looks weird. It's called an ORB. OR stands for O-ring. I have no idea what the B stands for. <laughs> so anyway, this is one of the most reliable solutions because you don't need Teflon tape on here because that gasket seals the gap. So again, you, you might need to hold that one inch fitting. Get an AN wrench if you have one. I happen to have an adjustable one. And snug it down. Nice and snug, and you're good to go. Now keep in mind, this piece is never ever gonna come out <laughs> unless you get a new fuel tank. So um, go slow, be careful. And that my friends is how you put a return line nipple on your gas tank and or a vent. You can do both. Now, something we learned today, make sure you have little fuel in your tank and you vent it before you start drilling. Uh, the safest way is actually drop your tank and drain it, but you can do it with it in the car, depending on how big your balls are or your ovaries. Either way, <laughs> you're chancing it. So make sure you call your loved ones before you start drilling and we can go from there. So next episode, subscribe if you haven't, we are gonna talk about putting the throttle body on where the carburetor typically goes. Again, I've not done it before, so I don't know what kind of hurdles we're gonna have just for throttle linkages and all that stuff. And hopefully we have time to wire it too. I don't know how many videos that'll be. So again, until next time, build them fast and drive them faster. See ya.